Calhoun back here live at Indianapolis Motor Speedway as we continue to get ready for the 105th running of the Indy 500. We are live here in the garage area talking to a guy who's going to be on the front row for the Indy 500. Renus VK, thank you so much for joining us on the outside of row number one. First things first, how cool is it to have this experience to know you're going to be right in the front of the field on the front row, man? Oh, it's, it's a privilege. I'm, I'm super happy to uh, be able to be on the front row. And I've done a 500 last year, starting fourth. So, you know, that was already an amazing spot in a starting spot. And right now, I just move it up one spot. And hopefully, uh, I think from here, we can really go for the win. You know, here we are. We're a few hours away from the start of the race. And, man, you've got so much energy here. You are just ready to go. What time did you get here today? Uh, I, I slept in a motorhome lot, so yeah, yeah. Uh, in the racetrack. Yeah, yeah. And I got waken up by the, by the fireworks at 6 a.m. this morning. So <laughs> I'm very excited and, uh, yeah. yeah, not really nervous or anything. Just... I'm just very excited to get going and uh, get it over with. Yeah, 20 years old. It's interesting you say you're not nervous for the most part. Um, that seems like that's been the case with all these young drivers, yourself, Colton Herta. Um, how, how much fun are you having uh, getting the experience to go against the best? It's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, our front row is quite iconic right now. You know, two very young guys, me, 20 years old, Colin Herda, 21 years old, and then Scott Dixon, 40 years old. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely, uh, you know, you can see how diverse the grid is. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the, the new, new generation is going to break through this weekend and uh, take the win. You had a great opportunity here, and you took advantage of it with the road course race here, the Grand Prix earlier in the month. You went on to win that, the youngest winner ever when it comes to an IndyCar race here in Indy at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Um, and I talked to you about your family and just how much they, how much you appreciate your family supporting you. What was that moment like for you to win this race here to start the month of May? Oh, it was so emotional. Uh, of course, I put so much effort in it, and everyone around me, my family, everyone, like everyone's life kind of, it revolves around me, which uh, is quite hard sometimes, but it's great to give this back. And, you know, seeing how emotional that first win was, I'm, I cannot imagine how this is going to be if I win this race. But uh, no, I'm just very focused and uh, it definitely, definitely gives me good motivation yeah. to win the last race and uh, come on here in, in the race as a favorite. Take a look here behind me, part of Ed Carpenter Racing, and you, you see your team here. So much talent from yourself, got Connor Daly, of course, Ed, the man himself, the veteran. What have you learned from Ed and this team in general? Um, have learned a lot. Of course, this is Ed. Uh, Ed's 18th, 18th yeah. 8500. Yeah. Uh, it's my second, so there's quite a <laughs> yeah. difference there. But uh, Ed really has some good tips, and he doesn't want to say too much, but uh, he really really helps me out and uh, gives me some good feedback when we look at race video or anything. Same with Connor Daly. I think this is his yeah. eighth. So, uh, yeah, definitely some very experienced guys in the team that can really help me out. Todd Arenas VK, who's going to start on the outside of row number one for the Indy 500. And Arenas, um, talking to all the drivers, they talk about they feel like, you know, hey, anybody can win this race. It's so competitive, so many great drivers here. What can you take away from what you learned on Friday at Carb Day as you get ready for this race here? I know the race conditions for us, the weather seems to be very similar, but what can you take away from the other day? Um, well, you know, you don't really, you cannot really see how other guys are doing. Uh, you know, everyone's trying something else. But I really felt like our car was super fast and really good in traffic. Also a fast car leading the race. So uh, I think we have, uh, we have a good, strong contender to, uh, to go for that win or at least battle for it. So it's going to be a very long race and it's, it's still the Indy 500. So anything can happen. But I think, you know, if anyone can win, we have a little bit more chance than them. Okay. They always talk about patience is the key here at the 500. We look at you, we know you got all this energy, you like to go, go, go. Uh, so the fan just screamed your name right there. Um, how do you, you know, ch how do you channel all that, making sure you have patience and making sure you're ready to go for this race? Um, well, last year I was a little excited and aggressive and um, I was running third and hit the pit crew at the pit stop. So I've had so many races ever since. I kind of felt a very good um, very good happy medium between being super aggressive and being patient and making sure I'm still in the mix for the last part of the race so uh, that's definitely gonna be important but you don't want to lose time to be too patient so uh, I think I found the happy medium and I'm just very excited to show what I've got okay Rena say hey, look all the best to you man good job good luck thank you coming up on on, on Sunday today okay